Hi, this is Neil Walters, changing the world one video at a time. I recently heard an expert say that he actually got a new email address maybe two or three times a year, and that allowed him to focus on his agenda and not the agenda of others. But I think that was going a little too far. I think with the filters that are available in Gmail, we can actually filter out the messages we don't want. And the nice thing about that is we can actually save them and use, those, use them as examples. Some people call this uh, creating a swipe and deploy or an SND file. And so I'll show you how to do that with filters in this video. And I feel basically relieved this week. Last few days, I've not been spending as much time watching other people's offers and being tempted on all these shiny new objects. I've been reading my email and getting on to the things I need to do, like making videos for you guys. So take a look and learn how to filter your emails. Today, I've decided to clean up my mailbox. And so in Google Mail, let me just show you what you can do. I'm looking for an email here to filter. Okay, here's one, Stephen Gilbert. I have no idea who he is. I may have bought something from him, I may not have, but now I'm getting an email from him about one a day. And I, the same thing is happening for about probably 25 other people. So you simply click on that, and let me show you how you use the filters in Google. You come over here and you say, filter messages like these. And when it says like these, it assumes it's messages from this person. So it automatically puts the from email. If you want to, you can also filter messages that have a certain word in the subject. And then you come down here and you click this button or link that says create a filter with this search. Okay. Now here there's two important things to do. Number one is you click skip the inbox, which means archive it. So if skipping the inbox means basically, see you have a, mess, you have a uh, folder over here called inbox, and that's normally what you read in your mail every day. And so if you don't want to see it in your inbox, you can just skip that box. Now, of course, you could delete it if you want to. You could just click delete down here. Of course, you could unsubscribe as well. But I'm trying to show you in this video how you can keep the message because sometimes you can use these messages for what people call swipe files. You can go back in the future and, and see what other Internet marketing uh, people are doing, and then you can basically copy and clone some of their techniques. So it helps you build basically a free library of sample emails by keeping them. So you're going to come over here and click apply the label. Now, I've already got a label here called Internet Marketing. Let me just show you right there, and I would click it. However, if you want to create a new label, there will be a link up here that says uh, New Label, and you just simply come here and type in XYZ, whatever you want to call your new label. So I am going to use the label that I already had called Internet Marketing. Okay. Now, there's one more button you probably want to check. If you just click Create Filter now, it will filter all future emails from that person. If you go ahead and click this little box, it's going to go back in your past history and find all the mails from this person. It's also going to put them in the Internet Marketing category and also remove them from the inbox. So now, as I click this button, Create Filter, you notice these guys just kind of disappear off the screen. And now, if I want to go find that folder, I can scroll down here you can see some of the different folders I have. <clears throat> and here's Internet Marketing. And if I scroll up, you can see now some of the people I've been uh, putting in this box. So that might save you getting 50 or 100 emails a day. And basically now you could focus on your business instead of just reading other people's offers all day long. And one final part of this training, you can manage your filters later. You come over here to Settings. Click Settings, and you get a bunch of links and tabs across the top of your screen. And then here's one of them is a blue link called Filters. And now you can see all the different filters that I've set up. And you can see I actually have probably 80 of them or more now at this point. And then if you want to modify one of them, you can just come over here and click Edit. And you see this one actually looks for the words becomes a top niche top notch blogger in the uh, in the subject. So anyway, that's how you actually manage your filters once you have them. You might have noticed that I used internet marketing in that example as my label. By the way, I'm working with a fantastic business right now that has tons of training that's available to help you in whatever business or program that you're currently involved in. Whether you're a hairdresser, a lawyer, a realtor, or you're an internet marketer or a network marketer, 
this business can train you to get your message out on the internet and help you make more dollars this year. So check out my Facebook group and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And by the way, I'd love to answer any questions you have in the boxes below. So see you next time.